everybody, this is Jen Watley Nelson and I am the founder of Lit Path Marketing where we help smart business owners use the internet to find more customers and prospects for their businesses. So today I want to just record a quick video to show you how to use Google Apps for email on your domain. The reason I'm recording this is I see lots of business owners lately uh, when I do network, I get their business cards and they have uh, email addresses that are at Gmail, at Yahoo, even at Verizon or some other domain and frankly it's just a little bit unprofessional. In this day and age it's really um, important for your branding to be consistent so I'm just recording this quick free video to show you a great way to get that email address be at your domain um, so that you can have consistent branding across all of your email properties. So why do I suggest using Google Apps? You can easily, um, when you purchase a domain name through GoDaddy or any other company online, uh, use their servers to handle your email needs. However, some, uh, some of those servers are notoriously unreliable. Also, Google Apps gives you access to a host of other services and applications that are going to help you actually run your business. So Google Apps is free up to 10 users. Uh, it also gives you access to their calendar. Uh, their Google Drive uh, has Google Documents now integrated into it. It gives you 5 gigabytes of online storage space for your documents that you can access anywhere you have an internet connection. And there's some other applications that you might find use, uh, useful. It does uh, require that you have a domain name, so you will need to purchase one of those first, and GoDaddy is a fine option for purchasing your domain name, though I would not recommend them for hosting your website. Um, Google Apps does allow you to create emails at yourdomain.com. Um, it is a bit technical to set up, so that's why I'm recording this video to show you how to do it. Once you've seen how to do it and you understand what we're doing, it's not hard, it's just a little bit, there's a few little technical steps. Um, you also get access to the Google Apps Marketplace, which is a huge range of productivity, product management, financial tools, and more. There's some great free tools in there, so there's some paid tools. Uh, if you use, for example, FreshBooks, which is a popular invoicing application, you can uh, hook that up with your Google Apps account. Uh, there's a product called Insightly, which is a great project management tool. Uh, I'll show you how to access those as well. So for now, I'm going to exit this presentation and go record my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google, and um, the free version, they've made it a little harder to access these days. If you search for Google Apps Free, uh, it takes you to the portal for the paid product. No problem. If you click up here on Pricing, and uh, click start now for this free version and you notice the paid version is not that expensive but unless you have more than 10 people that need to use it I don't recommend it. It does give you support um, but I would definitely start out with the free version. Okay so you want to put in uh, the name of your domain. Now I'm going to start with a domain I own that's just my name Jen Watley nelson.com. I don't actually have a website up for this domain. This domain forwards to my business website at litpathmarketing.com, uh, but I figured it'd be cool to have an email address at jenwatleynelson.com. So I'm going to set this up for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to put my domain name in and click Submit. So you want to create your new login information. This is going to be the first account under your Google Apps application and it's going to be your initial administrator account. I often use info at, uh, you can use your name, I could be Jen at jenwatleynelson.com. For now we'll just leave it as info and I am going to put my password in and I'm going to pause the video here while I just enter the rest of this information. Okay, I'm back. I've entered in all the information and now I'm just going to click here to accept the terms and service of Google and create my account. And it's thinking. It's submitting my information. And it's going to take me into the setup wizard. Uh, I'm going to uh, click on the express setup that's good enough for our purposes. So here's the wizard for the uh, Express setup for Google Apps. Uh, and you can just, the first thing we have to do 
um, it's going to make us verify that we own the domain. So I mean, I can't go in there and set up email on, you know, Facebook or or Google or or any other domain that I don't own. So this is the first bit of technicality. Um, so it is going to uh, give us a little bit of help in telling us how to verify that we own the domain. So it, I do own this domain with GoDaddy. I think it it uh, detected that. So I'm going to click on verify. Now this is new actually since the last time I've done this. It looks like Google has integrated with GoDaddy to give us, give me an easy verification path. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm pausing now so that I can look up my GoDaddy customer information. Hold on just a second. Okay, here's my GoDaddy customer information, password, and it's going to log me right into the GoDaddy system. We don't need to save this password. And uh, we'll use my Jen Watley Nelson at Gmail email account. Uh, I'm going to give Google access. And yes, I really do want to verify the domain. Okay, oddly enough, this integration between Google and GoDaddy failed for some reason, so I will go with the try another method, which is what I was going to show you in the first place. So it says having trouble, add a text record. This is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, it's going to give us instructions on how to do this. I am actually just going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go to my, my, my GoDaddy account and log in. And once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to my account. So here are where my domains are. I'm going to click on launch. And I'm going to select the domain that I'm working on, which is jenwatleynelson.com. Okay, here are this DNS manager. I'm going to click launch. We're going to put a few entries in here. Um, and the first one is going to allow us to verify that we own this account. So uh, let's see, we want a text record. So I'm going to click on quick add. No, I don't want an A record. Just kidding, people. Here we go, text. See, there's a whole section for text. Quick add. And it should tell us over here what to enter. So it says in the host field, we're going to enter the at symbol. And in the text value field, we're going to enter this whole bit of business. So I'm going to copy and paste. Now it, look like, it looks like there's a text record here where it attempted to authenticate it before. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. And save. Okay. Now this can take up to 48 hours to change. It usually does not take anywhere near that long. So we're just going to move on and see if Google lets us continue on. Okay, so let's click verify. And it says, congratulations, you have successfully verified your ownership of jenwatleynelson.com. Notice it didn't take anywhere near 48 hours. It happened almost instantaneously. Okay, now we have successfully verified our ownership of our domain. So I'm going to click here on continue. The next step is to continue with our setup. You can either use this um, navigation here, or I'm going to just click on Setup up here, up top. And we're at the next step is to, would normally be to set up users. I'm not setting up users because I have no one else that uses my account. But if I had other people who needed email addresses, this is where I would set it up. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is set up my apps. So um, you can just navigate here by clicking Next. I'm setting up Gmail. So I'm going to keep clicking next. We're going to use the Google service servers. Okay, here what they do, what they're going to do for us is check our MX records. What MX stands for is mail exchange. This is simply what allows Google to access 
and and control the email on our domain name. Now here's it tells you here's what the current what's currently set up and what they should change to. Uh, what I'm noticing that they used to tell you that they're not telling us now is see how over here how it has priorities. We do need to know the priorities for these as well. Um, and since Google's not telling us, I'm going to go look it up on another one of my accounts and I'll tell you what they are and I'll also post it underneath this video so that you'll have access to that information. So I'm going to pause the video again while I go look that information up for you. Okay, I found the priority numbers. So we're going to go back into the DNS manager. This is the same place where we added that text file that helped us to verify ownership of our website. So we're going to add in five of these using the quick add. The first one is one. The next two are fives and the last two are tens. Those are the numbers for priority and again I will post that in uh, underneath the video so you don't have to remember it. All of these should be the at symbol and now I'm just going to copy and paste the rest of this in. So we're going to put that one in there and you're just going to copy and paste them in order right down the screen. And I'm pretty sure you have to leave off this uh, period that's trailing at the end. I don't know why they have that there, but it is not needed. And here, let's get the last one. And again, this is going to allow Google to take control of the email processing for this domain. And I'm going to delete these other two. And I'm going to save the zone file. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Apps. I'm going to click Next. Um, and you can access your Gmail from any standard web browser. And here's the address where you can access it directly, or you can just go to gmail.com and enter in your email address. But here, there's my email but let's say let me log out of this let me sign out and then just go to gmail.com right and then I can type info at jenwatleynelson.com put in my password and it logs me okay it wants me to verify it's gonna send me a verification but you can log in right from gmail and uh, if I keep clicking next, that's it. The email is set up. There is one more step that they don't force you to do. It's working. Uh, my email is working. Everything is working appropriately. But uh, there's one more step that kind of helps with deliverability, making sure your email doesn't get marked as spam. Uh, and I am going to go back to Google, and it's called adding in an SPF record. An SPF record is a sender policy framework. Basically, it just helps other email servers know that Google is authorized to send email using your domain name. So it's a good thing to do. It's not a required thing to do. And I'm just going to find the SPF record for Google Apps. I will also post this record underneath the video so that you can have it as well. Here it is. So we're going to go back to our DNS record, DNS manager, and we're going to add another text record. We're using the quick add and the host is going to be this at symbol. And here is the text that we have to put in. Copy paste and save. Okay, our email is all set up. We can go back to our Google Apps account. It's also setting up a calendar for us. It's setting up... We're not going to share anything. I'm just going to 
quickly click through here. There's other stuff you can do with mobile access, but for now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And see up here, you can actually navigate through uh, the different Google applications. So if I click on Mail, it's going to open up my email. Okay, here's the account verification. Yes, we want to verify. So you can add in a mobile number. Um, you don't have to. I'm just going to go back to my inbox. And now I can start using email. Uh, documents, this is really cool. You can create documents right in here or you can actually uh, download an application, install Google Drive for the PC, where it will basically put a folder on your computer and everything you save to that folder will also be synced up with Google Drive and uh, you'll have access to your files up to five gigabytes of space for free anywhere in the world. A um, little bit of a disclosure, this can be a little bit buggy but it's very convenient. Um, your calendar is here. So you now have a Google Calendar. You set your time zone and you're away and running. I don't want to create an event. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you, if I go back to the, the dashboard here, is the Google Apps Marketplace. It gives you a little welcome you can watch the video when you set yours up. Lots of cool stuff here. Insightly um, is a great way to track leads, proposals, great project management, it's completely free. And you can kind of, there's lots of productivity tools, all kinds of things in here that you can kind of scroll through and um, see if you want to add to your account. Very, very useful. All right, that's it. You're all set up. I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.